Scott. I'm the author of My Journey to the Fountain of Youth. This book was basically uh, my research through the internet to find the best tips out there to look and feel as young as I possibly can. And I'm nearly 60 years old and I'm feeling fantastic. So what I wanted to do is share these tips with you. Um, last week I talked about hair growth and I talked about that there was four main ways to do it uh, to, to get your hair to grow back. Um, there was a, a massage method, there's a derma roller method, the inversion method, there's hair masks, and then I was going to talk about other tips that you can do to help grow your hair back. Um, and I talked about the massage method uh, last week. I think that's the bread and butter and the, the, the main part of getting your hair back. What I want to talk about this week is the derma roller method. And uh, so what I'm going to do is show you the derma roller. I'm going to show you how it works and what it's all about. And then I'm going to show you a slide that's also going to show uh, my progression uh, through my hair growth journey for the last year and a half. Thanks. So let's come on. Let's go. Okay. Welcome back. So when I was trying to get my hair to grow back, and I, like I said, I used the massage method mainly, um, and that was working great. It was coming back, and I was happy. But what I wanted to do is accelerate it. If there was any way possible to accelerate it or to help it, um, I wanted to do that. So I went down to the internet again, looked at some, uh, you know, reviewed a lot of stuff, and I found two, um, two uh, 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 videos on YouTube that really stuck out on me. One was from Reborn uh, Hair PPP, and the other one was from uh, 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 Sheetal. And uh, I'm going to put those, uh, those uh, links to those videos uh, in the comment section, so you can go to those and you can get, actually get a lot of science and a lot of other techniques from them that work very well. So I would suggest that you do that. Um, and what I'm going to show you today is just basically how it works and, and the gist, but I'm not going to get into too much of the science. So basically what you're doing is, well, let me show you what the derma roller is. It's right here. So it's a little device. You can see that. And what this device is, is it has 192 microneedles in it. And so you can't really see them that well probably, but and this thing spins. And so there's a bunch of needles in it, and they punch holes in your scalp. And I know that sounds barbaric, but, but the thing is, is that what you're doing is you're tricking your body into uh, heal, going into healing mode. So what you're doing is you're actually putting little, little abrasions in your scalp, and then your body goes into healing mode, and it's going to send blood up to your head, and it's going to actually uh, help feed nutrients to, to, your, to your hair. Um, it's just like if you slam your hand um, in the door and you notice that blood rushes to that, to that hand, you know, you feel a throbbing there. It's because your body is going to, you know, to, to, to heal mode in that area. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to do the same thing with your scalp in order to try to get your hair back. So what you do <clears throat> is, and you have to, what I do is I do it over the whole scalp. I'm not going to do that right now because it'll take a little while, but what you do is you take the Take this, and some people will actually wet the hair. If you have a lot of hair, you can wet your hair so it stays down. And you're going to just take a section. I'm just going to take the top section, and you're just going to go across. So, I, and I don't do this. Some people do that, but we do, what I do is just straight. And you're going to go all the way over, and you're going to cover the whole top of the scalp. And like I said, you're going to do the back of the scalp and the sides uh, you know, right after that. But then what you do is you'll go from 90 degrees, you're going to do the same thing. And you're going to apply moderate to firm um, pressure, so that you will feel it. You will feel this, because it is punching holes in your... And what it's doing is it's bringing blood to your scalp. And you'll see that your skin will start to get red. Then you're going to go diagonal, this way. And you're going to press it in there. And, you know, after you do it a few times, it doesn't hurt that much because I'm not feeling it too badly. But the first time I did, I actually did feel it. And then you're going to go diagonally the other way. And that's about it. Now, I would probably take a little bit more time doing it. <clears throat> and I also want to say a couple things before you start doing that. First, if you, it really does hurt and you don't like it, you can get some numbing cream. You can put the numbing cream on, leave it on for a couple minutes, but then get the numbing, you know, scrape the numbing cream off before you actually derma roll. Um, and then you do want to make sure your derma roller is clean. So you want to make sure that you go and you, you, you wash your derma roller and you uh, put alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it 
and you rinse it off again and then you're going to hit your scalp and then you're going to do the same thing when you're done. You're going to put rubbing alcohol on it again and then you're going to um, rinse it off and make sure it's completely clean before you put it away. <clears throat> it's, it's just that you don't want to have a dirty derma roller obviously because you don't want to have any chance of having an infection. But that's what you do. Um, I do it once every, I would say, four weeks. Uh, it depends on the, the length of the derma roller uh, and needle and, and, um, and just how often you want to do it. Some people do it every two weeks, some people have done it every six weeks. I, I tend to do it every four weeks and I have seen um, improvement in my hair. Again, I was completely bald on the top of my head. I know I don't have a ton of hair. I'm going to show you a slide that shows you my, my, um, my history of how I went in one and a half years from where I was to, to where I am now and it's continuing to grow. Um, I would suggest that you look at those other two videos, they'll go into more depth, and I'm also going to put in the link, uh, a, a link where, um, or in the comments below, I'm going to put a link that actually will um, show you where you can purchase one of these, but if you uh, go on uh, Google, you can probably, or at Amazon, you can get it on Amazon, um, actually, and, and there's a lot of places that sell these, but just make sure you get it from something reputable, um, Amazon is reputable, mine is actually <coughs> um, Vaughner. And I really found that this one was really good. Um, hopefully that's not, I'll get out of the way so it might focus. And hopefully that worked out, but uh, that's the one I use. And um, anyway, I think that that will work for you. So anyway, uh, that's all for today. And um, I hope, uh, well, here's the, here's the slide of my journey. So from here, you can see uh, day one, I barely had any hair on the top of my head. Eight months later, it was starting to grow in. One year later, you could see that I definitely have some hair growing back. And one and a half years uh, later, you could definitely see that my hair is growing back and thickening up. So you could really see a difference from day one to a year and a half. So it does take time, but you could definitely see that this works. Okay, so that's all. Next week, I'm going to talk about um, the inversion method and how that can help you out. And like I said, every week I'm going to have new videos and and, and, and tips on how to look and feel as young as possible. So just uh, you know, make sure you click on the subscribe button. Make sure you like the, the video, and you'll get uh, and the notification, and you will make sure that you get uh, all this great content. Thank you, and have a great day. So if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. Also subscribe and click on notifications to get great new content every week. Thank you.